Hello again, this is Tim Catalano, and I'm going to show you today how to do regular arrays with my advanced array modifier. I'll start with a teapot today. I'll go add an array. We'll set, we're going to set it up. We're going to do 10 items in here. I'm just going to do 36 degrees between each one. That'll give me a good 360 degrees rotation. All right. So let's start by using the center to create a radial array. I'll go in and I'll enable the center gizmo, and I'll just pull it down a little bit. So you can see wherever the center is at, the array is going to happen around that array. Right? So you can move it anywhere, move it up and down. Of course, up and down, depending on, on which direction you're actually rotating around, isn't going to have an effect. Say, for example, we change this to be 36 around the Y, and you can see that, that it's going to change that. Go back to using the Z. You can rotate it, and it'll basically change the axis of rotation. Though I'm not sure if that's very useful for too many things. The next way to do a radial array is by using the pre-transform. Let's enable the pre-transform gizmo. You can see that there's a bounding box now around the object. So if I pull this out, you can see now it pulls the first object out away from the center, and the array happens around the center. So there's, there's different situations that'll dictate which version to use. You know, so if you need to keep your your objects the pivot in the center of your objects. Pre-transform is definitely the way to go, but if you're trying to keep your pivot in a certain location and then you want your things to array around an external center, that's when you're going to use the center here. That way you still have your, your pivot in the spot that you want it to be, but your objects array where, where you want them to go. Alright, I'm going to show you one more method of doing radial arrays, and that's by using the oscillate. Let's turn off the rotation here, so everything's straightened out. We'll go down to the oscillate panel. The waveform we're going to want to use for a perfect circle is going to be the sine wave, and then everything else default, but we're going to change the amplitude alignment to plus or minus zero. Let's set a frequency of one here, and I'll move it out. So you can see when we use the plus or minus zero, things move away from center. I'm going to go ahead and also add, so that I added one frequency for the X, I also want to do one frequency for the Y, and I'm going to have these things have a matching amplitude, right? So let's change this to 50, and this one to 50. Immediately you see that it kind of goes diagonally, and that's not what we want. So we want to offset the, the frequencies and to create a, a cosine type wave. We can just do that by changing the phase to 0.25. And see now that we have now we have a circle here. So if we wanted to animate these things going in a circle or something, you can animate them. I'm just going to add one. So just make sure that these are, are working in in sync. So now you can see that they, they rotate around there. And so when you're using this method, you're just changing the object position in a radial fashion. Whereas the other methods, you're actually rotating the object as you go. So I hope this is useful and helpful for understanding how to do various radial arrays with the advanced array. Thanks.